Hello, I'm the Craft Maiden, and about a year ago I was invited to this gaming convention called Nordrim here in Sweden where I live. And while doing an interview there we decided beforehand that we would create something gaming related on stage. So we chose to make a Fortnite loot llama as a supposedly quick demonstration. But even though we made a lot of preparations, we never finished it under the interview and all in all it took about a day to finish it as quick as possible. If you wish to see this interview, it's in Swedish only, but you can find a Twitch link down below in the description box. And now you might be wondering why I decided to recreate this llama. It's mostly because I didn't feel like I gave this project the time it deserved and that I like to challenge myself to create stuff as close to the original as possible. So the second time around it took about a week to finish the same project. As always I start with a template and if you want to make this llama yourself you can find an updated version of this one in the description box down below including a list of all the tools and materials I use in this video. For the padlock and the hoop thingy it's hanging from, I used aluminum wire as it's really soft and easy to work with. And for all the small details like the eyes and hinges and stuff, I used Fimo clay in different colors. Before baking I used clay softener to remove any fingerprints. And to adhere the new clay to the already baked one I used liquid Fimo and added the rest of the small details to the padlocks. Then another round of clay softener and a baking before adding a bit of details in acrylic paint. As the brown clay didn't match up with the brown paper I had at hand, I decided to cover it in a darker shade. Using the template I then cut out all the body parts in a Pespato cardboard.
As I did with the portmanteau to get some parts to match up with the template, I had to remove the thickness of the cardboard from some edges. Some of them are also curved, so by slightly bending the matching piece, it's much easier to assemble them, and for that I used regular quick drying hobby glue. When some parts, when glued, didn't want to stay together, I used masking tape to keep everything in place. To simplify things, I just cut out a bunch of cardboard in the shape of the jaw and glue them all together. As the sides of the body is too big and too difficult to bend by its own, I cut halfway through the cardboard to make it easier. For the nostrils, I used a piece of a template as a guide, cut them out and then I covered the backside with a piece of cardboard. To cover the llama I'm using tissue paper, but as it's so translucent, I covered up some of the base in a colored paper in a shade as close to the tissue paper as possible, so there wouldn't be too much of a color difference between the body parts. To relocate and cut out the nostrils, I used the same piece of template as before and then painted them black. For the lock parts on the bags, I glued the two pieces together, made holes for the loop thingy and painted it silver. And then to assemble it, I placed the padlock inside the hoop thingy and glued it onto the lock part. For the bags I did the same thing as I did with the nostrils and using the template as a guide and cut out the gap between the bag and the hatch. Then before assembling it I also added a piece of paper on the back side. The 
Before covering the bags in the colored paper, I painted the gap black. To place the arrow where I wanted it to be, I used the template as a guide. And after that I glued on the small details. For the piece between the bags I just glued two smaller strips of cardboard onto a bigger one and covered it in the same piece of paper as the bags. Before adding the tissue paper I marked out where the bags should be placed on the body. As I didn't have the right shade of violet paper at home, I had to cover the pink one with a few more layers of the tissue paper before it got opaque enough. For the legs though, I only needed one layer, so I got lucky there. For the teeth I used three pieces of cardboard and this is not necessary but I covered it in white paper just to cover the seams. After that I added the clay pieces and used the template as a guide to place the eyes right. Then I marked out where to place the bridle and glued on the first piece. I also covered the feet in the same brown paper. And then I glue them onto the body. And before adding all the tissue paper, I marked out where all the colors should be. As I wanted each row to be double of the tissue paper, I cut the paper in 2 cm strips and then folded them in half. When cutting the strips I made sure to cut towards the folded part for about 3 quarters in. Then I glued them all on onto the llama.
because I marked out where the bags will be placed, I don't cover that part in tissue paper. For the tail I used 1cm strips in violet and purple and stapled them together and then I made a hole in the body and glued it on. To hide the seam to watch the head I glued on the last piece of the bridle. Then I glued on the bags. And then, as a finishing touch, I cut and curled the tail and brushed the body to get some volume. And here it is, the finished loot llama. It's quite funny how big a difference a product can have depending on how much time it has spent on it. This is actually a reason why I like to take my time and I really end up enjoying the process a lot more when I create stuff than I would have done if I had to hurry my work all the time. And that is a really good reason for you to actually hit that bell button to get notified whenever I upload as it can take some time for me to do so. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. So that's really it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!